Hello everyone, my name is Greg. I'm located in East Central Indiana. Um, this video here is going to be the beginning of the documentation of my Vans Aircraft RV-12 IS build. Um, if you don't know what that is or what plane that is, you can search Vans Aircraft. I'll have a link below to this particular aircraft. They've got several uh, kit airplanes. They've been in business for many years, back in the 70s when they started. Um, and I've always been interested in Vans um, airplanes. Um, just because of their longevity and how many planes are out there. When I first decided to undertake this project, I had a larger goal of building the RV-10. And if you do any real investigation and into that airplane, um, it's a magnificent four-seater fast airplane that I would love to build sometime. Um, but the cost is easily double what I can build an RV-12 for and and I can build an RV-12 a lot quicker uh, than I can the RV-10. I kind of wanted to make my first plane not become so overwhelming that I give up on it. Um, I've seen a lot of projects people just life gets in the way and they just can't get it finished and this is a big enough project the way it is. Um, I know uh, both financially and and time-wise uh, that I'm going to be a good two and a half years to finish this airplane and, and that may grow because lead times for kits never, uh, are extremely long right now. Um, as I'm preparing this video to post on YouTube, my, my whole empennage has built, been built for a few months um, and I'm waiting on my fuselage and wing kit to come. Um, they won't be here till March at the earliest if they're if they're true to what they're saying their lead times are. Um, so a lot of planning uh, both financially and, and when to order kits is very important if you want to keep the thing motoring along and then, then just having the time in your life. Um, so this is the documentation of that build. Um, the RV 12 is is built with more of pull type rivets which are a little quicker um not that they're any worse it's just it's a different type of build um and this this is a, one of the most complete kits that vans aircraft sells um and I'm, I'm i've seen they've got i don't remember how many hundreds of these planes are already flying i've seen s s many of them seen lots of them at oshkosh this year and got lots of pictures and stuff i'll probably post on, on a video at some point but I'm glad to have you along uh, please like and subscribe and follow along and and maybe I can learn something from you if you leave some comments below and I'll, I'll try to hopefully be helpful to somebody else um, and pass it on down so thank you and have a great day okay we'll start here um, first couple shots we're just showing I cleaned up the shop and made a couple benches was ready for uh, the empanage kit to arrive and the day it arrived was the worst storm we had all winter. Um, luckily, I knew the driver is here a lot for other reasons, and I was one of his last stops, and he, he made her happen and got it in here, and I, I was so appreciative uh, of that. And this is just showing us getting her unloaded in this snowstorm. Vans does a great job of packaging their kits when they send them out. Um, these crates are well built. They don't weigh much because the plane's built out of aluminum. I mean, it, it's really light. Um, and, but I couldn't believe how well they packaged the, the kit. Here my wife got involved a little bit helping me inventory the parts and she was making me labels for all the different little pieces of hardware um, and, and helped out quite a bit. Um, as you can see there it is all piled on the shelf and, and when I got this I looked at it I was like oh my gosh what have I got myself into but it's really fun. It, it, um, it comes together just one piece at a time. You just you just follow the plans, and, and if you screw up, you fix it and make it right. There's my first two pieces I put together um, uh, for the vertical stabilizer where the rudder attaches. And this is where I'm building the, the vertical stabilizer. 
it, it is a lot of fun. At this point, I had decided I wasn't um, priming the inner parts of the plane. Um, there's so much conversation about priming, not priming, and I just, I didn't care at that point. But the more I thought about it, um, uh, I start priming my, my inner parts from here on. Um, this is the vertical stabilizer basically done. Uh, I did that basically in a day. It, it didn't take long. It wasn't even a day, it was just a few hours. Looking back now, I wish I'd have just ordered the whole kit at the same time. Um, and now I would have it all here and I could work on things. Um, right now I'm just setting waiting and, and I could have cut the, the build time way down by having, having the stuff here. So something to keep in mind if you're thinking of a project like this. Here's some of the first... Uh, of the build where I'm actually priming parts. I'm building the rudder here um, and I clean clean the parts and, and prime them with just, just a rattle can type prime from aircraft spruce. Um, I'm just not, I just don't want to get super involved in the and have a big paint boost set up and all that, but I do want to give it some corrosion protection as I'm going along. When I was growing up, I built a lot of remote control airplanes. Um, and back then, um, you bought bought the kits as, as a box of wood and you put it together. Um, and it was always, there was some uh, sort of satisfaction seeing it come together and actually flying it when you was done. Um, this is just like a larger rendition of that. Um, this was a cool sunset that I got a picture of. And this is my supervisor. Um, but seeing one come together that you're actually going to fly in, it is just, it's just very cool. Um, it's just like a big, big uh, rendition of a remote control plane, but, but much larger. Here's the first part of the horizontal stabilizer, uh, the anti-servo tabs that you're building. And there's my two of my cats. They're pretty comfortable. Um, but here I'm, I'm starting the build of the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, part of the empanage. The primer I got from Aircraft Spruce, um, it's a high quality uh, self-etching primer. Um, it, it, it does a good job and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. This is the main spar of the, of the horizontal stabilizer on the, on the rear of the airplane. The white piece you see here on the spar, um, that holds the counterbalance weights uh, inside the tail of the airplane. It makes makes the tail uh, balanced um, when you're moving the stick back and forth. The, the tail uh, will feel the same whether you're, you're Pulling back on the stick or forward, it creates a, a good balance and, and makes it easy. Here's the ribs um, being attached, and there's the skin going over the top.
This video is just, just the completion of the vertical and the horizontal stabilizer. Um, I plan to do a future video here soon uh, showing the rest of the tail cone put together and finishing up the empanage. I apologize that a lot of the pictures seem to be maybe duplicates. Um, I'm kind of playing catch up here. Uh, I built this way back in the summer and um, I just took pictures after pictures along the way and, and I'm trying to put it all together in this first video. I'm gonna, gonna work to do a little better as I, as I work further into the plane. I appreciate you watching and uh, hit the like and subscribe and, and stay in touch and any comments is greatly appreciated and uh, have a great day.